How's it going guys, Ultrasive here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get better frames on Roblox since Roblox is trap, trash, multi-core optimization, they only use one core, and terrible GPU optimization. So we're going to get try to get the best performance that we can on Roblox knowing that they have these terrible optimization. So the first thing I would recommend doing is say take your graphics off of automatic and put it on one or whatever your computer can handle. That's like the first thing you should always do. Make sure it's not on 10. Make sure just put it on one if you're not getting 60 frames per second. And you probably should start getting better frames after that. But if that simple method isn't working, then make sure nothing is just over the top and taking up any extra stuff on your CPU. Go to processes and just go to max. You see OBS is taking up a lot of my CPU, but make sure nothing is using up a ton of CPU besides Roblox. The next thing I would say is to run an antivirus. I'm just using Windows Defender here, but one I really recommend is Malwarebytes. It's really good. But you can just um, just do a quick scan or advanced scan. Make sure you have no viruses on your computer that could be hampering your performance. The next thing is to run CC Cleaner or another computer cleaner just throughout your computer. It's going to make your computer delete all the uh, random files on your computer. So you just need to analyze and then run the cleaner. I didn't analyze there, but make sure you go off and click the button analyze. And it'll go through all your files and tell you what you need to delete. The next few steps are going to be in Roblox Studio. So you're going to want to open Roblox Studio. It should have came in with your Roblox. It's probably going to have to update. So I'm just going to let mine do it right now. But once you're in Roblox Studio, you go to file and then settings and it'll bring you to this menu. Then go to rendering click OK, that's just making sure that you can change it. Change your quality level and the edit quality level to level one. Your graphics mode to OpenGL, if you put this, I just find OpenGL gets it better, especially if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, it renders polygons inaccurately, but it renders them faster, so I like to do that. I just have frame rate manager on automatic. I don't know if it affects on or off. I think if you put it on, it tries to keep your frames at 60 though. Next one I would say is go to physics on this tab right here and allow sleep. So if you make sure this is checked, uh, if you're not looking a certain direction, it won't render it in. It's just a lot better on your PC. It'll make sure it's not, it's using less of your CPU to render stuff. The next thing you should do is if you're running Roblox, go in the task manager. You can easily open task manager by right clicking on your bar down here and go into task manager. Then right click on Roblox go to details right click on roblox again set priority and put it on high change priority and this should put your roblox priority at high so nothing else is gonna get high i think you're gonna have to do this each time you boot up roblox though so just keep in mind you need to do that next thing i would recommend doing is defragging your hard drive you can do this by typing in defrag in your windows search or okay Defrag. Okay, I just spelled that wrong. I had like a dyslexic moment. So uh, to go to defrag your hard drive, click on optimize or analyze on your main hard drive. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this on solid state drives and I wouldn't recommend you shouldn't have too much wrong with solid state drive. But if you have a classic hard drive, then I really do recommend doing this. I don't even know if it's safe for SSDs, but if it says hard drive disk right here, then it's going to be safe. And this sped up my old hard drive quite a bit. The next step I would recommend is just cleaning out dust out of your computer. Take apart your computer, grab a can of air, spray all the dust out. You may have to take a rag, uh, open up your laptop, clean out the dust. This is going to heat up your components and you're probably in a thermal throttle if you have too much dust on your components. Next, you're going to need to go into settings. This is my 11th and last step of this video. Go into settings, go into your game settings and make sure that game DVR is off. Make sure that this is off. And so game DVR essentially while you're gaming, it's going to record it so that you can go look back and go check out your recording. I don't recommend doing this, especially if you're not recording using Game DVR. Just turn it off. It's just going to hinder performance. Now, after doing all these steps, uh, hopefully you're getting a lot more frames than what you did, if not 60 frames. Like, now I'm on one. It's uh, lagging a little bit, but that's just because Roblox is retarded. 
but yeah roblox is very unoptimized so if this didn't optimize your system you could try to go get a ticket and don't send it to like their billing part or customer service part send it to like their tech support part uh i found the link to it tell them to uh first of all add in multi-core support on cpus and better gpu uh optimization eventually they have to do this eventually they're gonna have to listen to their community and make roblox a better site and not just try to sell builders club i do like the games on roblox such as phantom forces but the roblox devs all in all roblox is an old game on an old game engine that needs to stay updated they need to put it on a new game engine that doesn't just use single core so just make sure to put that in your message to them and hopefully we'll get it one day